card full. The card is full. <laughs> oh. Pretty cool. I actually put hacky sack beads inside of that to see how much heavier I could make it. And also I was drunk and I just wanted to make it into a maraca. I made a little tiny, a little itty bitty forklift. Kind of cool. Oh, one thing I did after Christmas was I 3D printed these uh, little, these little wrapping paper savers, which is kind of fun. And then I put on the, where I bought it and what year it was from. I'm going to start a Christmas paper depository archival collection where I keep extra wrapping paper from every year and then I break it out from the vault. Let's talk about this thing. So this is a cool pattern that I first discovered in Granada at the Alhambra Palace. And it's basically a screen or like a mesh thing that you would use in architecture to provide airflow but have a lot of shade. And so this could be a really cool trellis or a window cover. Um, I'm going to make a separate video about that, but suffice to say, it's just super cool. And they can be wo they're woven. And these are what the patterns look like, and you, you put these together, and then you get this sweet star pattern. And it's so much cooler than you see this like hatching on like the underneath decks and stuff. And if you just added these little notches in the wood, it could be like twice as cool. So I'm going to make a video about that one. I guess we can talk about this big dome that I'm in now. So this is, um, these are geodesic dome hub connectors. And before I came up with this design, which is actually just stolen from Thingiverse, and they're actually really small, but I just scaled them up 320%. And my dad had all of these extra pieces of wood. So that was a fun project that I just finished. And the alternate way to build this geodesic dome is with these flanges. <clears throat> I'm actually going to make a whole separate video on this dome, so watch out for that one. But suffice to say that you can make some really cool stuff, super simply, with Sarili printing. I actually have a bunch of these flanges printed out, and these actually didn't end up being strong enough. so. That's sort of why I went this route with these connectors. If you're still watching, you might be interested in seeing all of my trash. What else can we find in here? Oh, look at these knurled little screws that I printed out. Some failed stuff. I love the Creality CR6 SE. The auto bed leveling is amazing. The quality of prints is great. The printer is only 400 bucks and it's 2021. So 3D printing, loving it. Um, thanks for watching guys. Like I said, tiny van design ideas video coming up, uh, as well as the video about this geodesic dome hub connectors and this 3D printed hatch pattern. So subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Oh yes, one last thing that I forgot is I brought my printer over to my buddy Johnny's house and we printed some cool stuff for his fish tank, like the surfboard and the castle. So that was cool. Now the video is over. Thanks for watching.